Good morning. Please subscribe to my channel today, Smell Good Aroma. Please visit the website, www.smellgoodaroma.com. Text me directly, 248-227-3725, or email me, mr. period, s-m-e-l-l-g-o-o-d-z at yahoo.com. Please like and share with a friend. Today I'm going to be talking a little about uh, price point and the history of the, some of the prices that I've had and, um, you know, pricing and competition. When I initially started selling the fragrance oils, which was a while ago, um, probably in 01, uh, I started selling the one third ounce bottles for $10. This bottle here, I was selling it for $10. Now. I charge five dollars for the same bottle, but when I originally started it, was, I was charging ten. This one ounce bottle, which I charge now, ten dollars to twelve dollars, I was charging twenty dollars for. When I originally started selling the oil, you know, I loved it. Ten dollars for one third, twenty for one ounce. I thought it was great. Uh, profit margin, great. Everything, great, great, great. I had two venues that I was selling out of. I was selling them from work. People had no problem paying it because they got paychecks every two weeks. No problem. And I was selling it in the street, you know, on Friday and Saturday, going around to the barber and beauty shops, going just, just out and about. And ran into a lot of flack over time, maybe within a six month period, selling these on the street for the same price that I was selling them at corporate for because in the city that I'm in, Detroit, there was like two or three main families that had businesses selling the oils, and their price point was $10 for this bottle. They would sell this bottle for 10, they would refill it for eight. This one third ounce bottle, they were charging five for, and they were refilling them for three to four dollars. So the dilemma that I ran into was I was, I was able to sell it at work, but I didn't do well in the street selling it, not because I didn't have good quality, but because of the price, price point. So within a month or so, I just said, you know, I just switched the price to whatever they charge in, you know, in the city, because you're gonna, if you wanna grow, you're gonna have to you know, drop the price a little bit. I dropped the price and I had no problem from that point on selling them in the street. My point is, you as an oil distributor, whatever city you're in, whatever community you're in, you have to understand what the price is in your area. Out in LA, out in Vegas, they can get away charging people 20 to $25 for this one, one ounce bottle, easily. They can charge 10 to $12 for this one third ounce bottle, depending where you are. It's all based upon, you know, median income, the amount of competition you have around you, and the quality of the fragrance. My quality of fragrance has not gone down any, it's just the price has to go down. Now in Detroit, just like you might find in Chicago, New York, Baltimore, Memphis, in these big cities, there's gonna be a lot of competition. You can't get around that. I talked to several of my distributors throughout the nation and they tell me that basically the ounce bottle is 10, the roll on is five. Now what I find is that that's fine, you know, to have those prices, but what do you do when, you, when you've grown from just being a, a street peddler to selling it in a, in a venue where you're paying booth rent to, you know, eventually selling, paying real booth monthly rent how do you maintain your price or adjust your price to deal with the rising costs that you might have? Now recently, over the last month, I just started, uh, I have a lease that I'm working out of, a building, and I have you know, real rent that I have to pay. Now, one thing that I've done is, I put a price tag of $12 on this bottle. And because I sell good quality, I can stand behind it for twelve dollars. I give them two for twenty, and if I'm comfortable in the product that I'm selling, 
I don't have to buzz on my pipe because it's still within the, the circle of what they're used to paying. I just start them at 12 and I tell them, give me $20, I'll give you two of them. These bottles for $5, if you're selling good quality oil, you don't have to budge. I just bring that up because in this business that we're in, if you're selling fragrances, you are judged not by only by the quality of your product, but also by the price points of your product. And one of the things that's challenging is people who are consumers are paying these five and ten dollars for these bottles but they don't understand that these have been the prices for maybe the last 20 years and inflation is something that makes things go up every so often and these prices are not a you know not reflective of the refl inflation i just bring that out to you as a, as a point because what you could buy for ten dollars twenty years ago you can't buy for ten dollars now so with that being said uh, I would love to charge a person twenty dollars for this bottle in this day and age and it might come back to that eventually but I know how people are um, this bottle is worth ten I charge five just because of the market that I'm in uh, these are just thoughts and reflections that I have on price point and um, you know how you price your products and how you run your business these are questions and thoughts that you have to consider when you price your product uh, for the last 17 18 years I haven't changed the price for the most part on the one third or one ounce bottles I tell everybody that's selling fragrances get a price lock it in and make it stable for maybe at least five years because you don't want to jump around with your price every time somebody comes in to buy something from you so if you're in an area you might want to charge seven you might want to charge ten you have to come up with your own game plan you might do a ten and do a three for twenty on the one third you might do a twenty two for thirties on the one ounces. It's up to you, it's up to where you are, it's up to your demographics, and you have to study your median income in the area you're in. And the demographic that I'm selling from, the zip code I'm in, because I looked it up, median income for the family is only 28 to 30,000 per family. So I'm not in a very uh, well-to-do area. It's a, it's a hard, not grimy environment, so I, I accommodate for that demographic and make sure that it works. But if you're in a more affluent area, of course you can charge more. If you're at the mall, you have to charge a little more. So keep all those thoughts in mind as you go out and uh, establish your price points. Have a great day, great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.